Look, don't worry. I'll get out of your way. I, I gotta get you in anyway. Look, darling, darling, please. This, it's untenable, this freeze. Shouldn't we just turn the proverbial page, okay? Brian is gone. This episode is over. I, for one, would like just to forget the whole thing. You sound kind of like Brian. Pretending that there wasn't a problem didn't really work out for him. Hey, we're quits. He hurt both of us. I know, but the point is, you can't get over the fact that your husband was attracted to me. And I'm paying for that, and not just from you. So don't ask me to forget it, because I can't. And neither can you. to go black. So where's Allison? You guys done playing matchmaker? Okay, I admit it. Locking you and Luke on the roof was lame. It's freezing up there. I know, but we thought if we cut off all possible exits that you guys would be forced to figure something out. Come on, you guys really think that would work? Well, we didn't think you were going to be that stubborn. That I would be that stubborn? And Luke, man, you guys are being ridiculous. You belong together, and you keep putting up roadblocks. Why can't you just admit you guys are crazy about each other? I can say the same thing about you and Allison. You know you've got a thing for her. That's why you blew off Maddie. So why can't you just leave us alone and start following your own advice? Now, who are you looking at, hmm? I don't understand why people keep putting up with you. You don't care that your grandson's miserable, okay? It wasn't his fault that your husband was a closet case. I'm not interested in, in your analyses or your assumptions. But do you think you're the only one hurting? Because of what Brian did, Luke lost the one person that means more to him than the world. That's something about which I can do nothing. Luke is my cousin, okay, and my best friend. I care about him, even if you don't. Okay, let me understand you, Jade. And your philosophy. You seem to think that because Noah saw Luke kiss Brian, that's somehow my fault. You don't get it. You're still furious at Luke for not telling you Brian was gay, but he was trying to protect you. He didn't want to ruin your happiness, so he sacrificed his own. And then he got so deep covering for Brian that it all blew up in his face. And now Noah can't forgive him, and neither can you. Wow, you're really on a soapbox today. What in your infinite wisdom should I be doing about this? I don't know. You're supposed to be this brilliant businesswoman that figures out every problem. So why don't you stop feeling sorry for yourself and find out what you can do for your grandson? Because he loves you, and he deserves it. So you're telling me that if we hadn't run into each other, you would have skipped lunch? Yeah, I guess I forgot I was hungry. Yeah? You, huh? I'm sorry, yes. Alert the media, but I know. So what's up? Something happened between you and Maddie? I don't know. Things didn't work out. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, I thought I would just let her down easy, but I had to, I had to tell her the truth. That I was interested in someone else. Uh, that's news? Uh, who? Allison Stewart. Okay, don't have a heart attack, Dad. You know, she she says she's just interested in being friends. Um, okay, then that's a good thing. <laughs> you don't have to act so happy about it, Dad. Well, I don't think I need to tell you this, but becoming involved with Allison Stewart would be a big mistake. Hey, what can I get for you? Hello, darling. Just a moment of your time, please. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm really busy. Sorry. I'm not going to take no for an answer. I'm going to talk, and you're going to listen. We have a lot in common, me too. Like what? Like, in this episode, I think we can both, each of us, honestly say we have been wronged. Now, I... I believe Luke when he tells me that he, he didn't let on and tell me because he wanted to protect me. He's a real gentleman. But then things got out of hand with Brian. They got out of hand. Now, neither you nor I can blame Luke for that. I really don't have time for this. Hey, please.
please. Make time. Because if you don't, you risk losing an, an, an absolutely extraordinary, irreplaceable person. Luke, he's good. Go find him. Go talk to him and work on it. And I certainly won't give you a moment's peace until you do. You can pitch a tent here, Miss Walsh. It's not going to make a difference. Oh, darling, you underestimate my tenacity. Come on. What happened between me and Luke has nothing to do with you. On the contrary, darling, it has everything to do with me. Because I brought Brian into the equation. I introduced him to Luke. I pushed him for the foundation job. And then I married him. And then we had all this kissing business. Yeah, well, no one could have seen that coming. And I saw Luke kissing Brian, and I just, I can't, I can't get, get that image out of my head. How many times, how many times have you asked Luke to forgive you for something? I mean, come on, that girl, you married that girl, that Iraqi girl. That was different. Okay, Luke knew about that, and I was doing that to keep her in the country. Yes, but it was so hard on him. He had to, you demanded that he lie and he pretend. He struggled horribly with that. I know. So did I. And then, I don't know, you crazy kid, you wanted to join the army. Yeah, well, I didn't go through with that. Good. And then we have Brian. We have Brian. And he needed you. And you called Chris just when he needed you the most. You can't blame this breakup totally on me. That, that's just, that's not fair. Oh, darling. Fair is for kids, for heaven's sake. Life isn't fair. Life isn't fair at all. And when you're living it alone, it really sucks. Especially when it's you, and it's your damn fault. Oh my God. Are you following me like some kind of predatory bird? D relax, it's all been done. I did what I could. It's out of my hands. You sick Luke's grandmother on me? Thanks a lot. Hey, hey, hi. Hey. Bad day? Oh, yeah. Me too. My dad thinks I'm messing up my life so much I shouldn't have a girlfriend. Well, he's probably right. Well, no one thinks that we're so messed up that we shouldn't be together. You know, he's probably right. I'm not exactly a catch right now. My grandmother broke up with me. <laughs> I really can't believe you and Noah are really over. Well, if we weren't over before, we are now. If you and Allison tried to help us. Yeah, I'm sorry that backfired. Well, I guess I just have to get used to being single for life. <laughs> no, that is so lame. Come on, we are getting out of here. Where are we going? To Java. Uh, you and no. Noah are going to settle this once no, for all. No, no. Come on, Casey. Uh, I'm serious. Who asked you to butt into my life? Luke's my friend. I'm just trying to help. Then maybe you should stop making things worse. You know what? I am sick and tired of everyone coming down on me when I'm just trying to help. You want to lose the best thing that ever happened to you? Go ahead. I couldn't care less. I don't need your help. Luke and I are finished, and there's nothing you or anybody else can do about that. <sighs> Casey, I am sick and tired of people trying to set me and Noah back up together again. It's not going to happen, so, so just, just leave me alone. alone. 